Okay, last Mexican dish for the year. I know, sad, but I've got a real stunner of a dish for you. It's a baked Mexican chicken, and I'm using a whole free-range chuck. This was literally $10.84, and that will feed a family of four. It's free range. It's organic, and it's all those steroids and chemical free. So I'm gonna show you how to take this chicken apart. So what you wanna do, it's a lot easier than it looks. Um, you kind of find the wing there, find the look, nook and cranny, and that's it. That's one bit gone into the baking tray. That's number two. Now let's deal with the legs. See that natural joint going up there? Open that up, find the uh, point where it connects up, and then just crack that open, and see where that bone's come undone? That comes off there. So you've got your thigh and drumstick, and to get those two disconnected, you just cut down the middle between those two. I know, I know, it's easier than your science class, isn't it? This is what they should be teaching you in biology. Can you hear that crack? Don't worry about it. She's already dead. And she's gonna taste so good. There we go. And to do the breast, you wanna find that middle bone there, or cartilage, I should say, and just cut to the side of it, and just tease it out. And there is your chicken breast, and that's a big portion. So just cut that in half into the baking tray. And you can do exactly the same with the other side. And that is a whole chuck dissected, ready to eat. Oh, I should have got a sharper knife. In about two minutes. And of course, that's great for stock, soups, all that business. I'm just gonna wash my hands in some soapy water because you don't want to catch anything or make anyone sick. And the flavorings could not be any easy. I've got some coriander, cumin, smoked paprika, and that's going straight into the casserole dish. So don't think too much about it. Some coriander, I'm gonna save half for when the dish is cooked. Some sesame seeds, sprinkle those in, not too much. And this Tia Pablo Chipotle de Plata, which is essentially um, dried chipotle chilies with juniper uh, berries and some dried limes there. So it's beautiful and smoky with chicken. If you can't find it, you can skip it out, but so good can of diced tomatoes. Okay, so that goes straight into the oven. It will feed a family of four. Let that sit there nicely for about 45 minutes, all for under $15. It's a delicious baked Mexican chicken. Later on, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Mexican spiced iced chocolate for the whole complete Mexican feast. Okay. Final Mexican dish ever, an iced Mexican chocolate. And it's going nice and cold. So I'm putting in three heap tablespoons of Tio Pablo Azteca, uh, chocolate Azteca, which is like an ancient Aztec blend of cocoa and other flavors. We're talking cinnamon, a little bit of chili. If you don't have that, you can just make it yourself with a little bit of cinnamon, chili, nutmeg, and that just kind of comes together. Cardamom if you want to. And a heap load of ice cream. So, oh. so is that what, what makes it me Mexican, this stuff here? It's yeah, it's, it so it's not just straight ah, up cocoa powder. Okay. There's other flavors in there. Yum. And milk, and I might actually put a little bit more ice cream in there, but we're making for three, so fill that bad boy up, and I'm gonna give that a blend. It's gonna be quite loud, so I'll do that a little bit later. The recipe for this is online at facebook.com forward slash Mike Spides. Later on, we will be putting this whole Mexican feast together. <laughs> Welcome back, just plating these up. So what I've done with the baked chicken, I, um, I've actually taken it off the bone and put them in little tortillas. What do you guys think? I'm halfway through, Good. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, and also Mexican hot chocolate, yum. Mm -hmm. You're a pretty good cook, Michael. Very, very good. The recipe for all the Mexican dishes we've made um, across the whole entire last four weeks are online at facebook.com forward slash Mike Spites. On the show.